Happy Friday, everyone! It's Friday, which means it's almost time for the weekend. But that also means this is my last video for this week. So let's read in our Bible. We've been reading in our Bible all about the miracles that Jesus did. And yesterday we read that Jesus helped somebody to be clean again because their skin was covered, covered in sores. Let's see what miracle we will read about today. Everyone was excited because Jesus was in town. Four men especially wanted to see him. Their friend was paralyzed and couldn't walk. Jesus could heal him. But the house was so packed they, that they couldn't get close to him. Still they didn't give up. They made a hole in the roof and lowered their friend down through the roof on a mat. Jesus saw how strongly they believed in him and said to the man, Your sins are forgiven, said Jesus, because forgiveness was the most important thing of all. Then he said, Get up! Pick up your mat and go home. The man stood up, picked up his mat and walked out. And everyone was amazed. So this man, he couldn't walk. And with Jesus and his miracle, he could walk again. Let's put our hands together. Eyes closed. Dear Lord Jesus, Thank you for this beautiful day. Thank you for my friends and my family. Please help me to be kind and have a wonderful weekend. Please keep me safe from all harm. We love you, Lord Jesus. Amen. It's Friday, so let's stand up and dance together. Father Abraham had many sons, many sons had Father Abraham. I am one of them, and so are you. So let's just praise the Lord right on Father Abraham. Had many sons, many sons had Father Abraham. I am one of them, and so are you. So let's just praise the Lord right on left from Father Abraham. Had many sons, many sons had Father Abraham. I am one of them, and so are you. So let's just praise the Lord. Do you know what time it is? 
It's time to do the weather chart. I'm so happy that the sun has come out and made everything warm. Yesterday was just too cold. So today it's not cold anymore. It's just sunny. If yesterday was Thursday, what's today? Friday. Today is Friday. If yesterday was the fourth, what's today? The fifth. Well done. So we must take number four off and put on number five. It's still June and remember what season are we in now? In winter. Let's read our weather chart together. Our weather for today is sunny. Today is Friday, the 5th of June. The season is winter. Today we're going to do things a little bit differently. Normally we talk about our theme and what we're learning about this week, and then we read a story. But today I thought we could do it differently and read a story now. And our story today is a fun story because it's Friday, fun Friday. And this is a story that elephants enjoy and they're always asking to read this because they get to be the voice that's talking in the story. So elephants, are you ready to read with me? Are you sure? Because our story today is the hairy toe. Ooh. Once there was a woman went out to pick beans. And she found a hairy toe. She took the hairy toe home with her. And that night, when she went to bed, the wind began to moan and groan. Away off in the distance, she seemed to hear a voice crying. Are you ready to read with me? Where's my hairy toe? Who's got my hairy toe? The woman scooched down, way down under the covers. And about that time, the wind appeared to hit the house. Swoosh! The old house creaked and cracked like something was trying to get in. The voice came nearer, almost at the door now, and it said... Where's my hairy toe? Where's my hairy toe? Who's got my hairy toe? Who's got my hairy toe? Oh, you guys would make good monsters, eh? The woman scooched down further under the covers. And pulled them tight around her head. The wind growled around the house like a big animal. Mm. And rumbled over the chimney. All at once she heard the door crack. And something slipped in and began to creep over 
The floor. The floor went creak, creak at everything, every step that that thing took towards her bed. The woman could almost feel it bending over her bed. Then in an awful voice it said, Are you ready? Where's my hairy toe? Where's my hairy toe? Who's got my hairy toe? Who's got my hairy toe? You've got it! Doesn't he look silly? Looking for his hairy toe. Wow, you guys were wonderful. Well done. Did you enjoy that story? That's good. I know it can be a little bit scary sometimes, but remember, it's only a story. And you got to be the funny looking guy at the end. <laughs>
says, we finished learning about all of our five senses. Can we quickly sing our senses song with, for him? Eyes are for looking, ears are for listening, nose is for smelling, tongue is for tasting, hands are for touching. Well done. So for the past two weeks, we've been learning all about our five senses. How many senses have we got? Five. Good job. So today I thought we could do something a little bit fun. It's a little bit new and it's something if mommy and daddy says you can, you can do it at home too. Because today I'm going to learn something new because I've never done this before. And I thought it would be fun if you could come with me. Does that sound like fun? And this activity, we're going to use all five of our senses. We're going to use our eyes, they for looking. Ears are for listening. Nose is for smelling. Tongue is for tasting. And hands are for touching. Well done. So today we're going to do something new and something fun. We are going to make popcorn. Does that sound good? Well, let's go into the kitchen. Remember, if you want to do this at home, you must ask mommy and daddy first. You can't just make it because you're going to work in the kitchen where the stove is hot and I really don't want you to get burnt, okay? So if mommy and daddy say yes, you can make popcorn. Hi guys, welcome to my kitchen. Today we are going to try something new. We are going to make popcorn. But normally I make popcorn like this in the microwave. So I thought today I'm going to try something new because it's good to try something even if you've never ever done it before. So I've got my pot, I've got a little bit of oil and I've got popcorn. Are we ready to make popcorn together? We're going to try. I've never made it like this before. Okay, so we might burn it, but that won't be so bad. I'm now going to put some oil in my pot and then I turn the stove on. Remember, if you guys want to make this at home, you need to ask mommy and daddy or granny or grandpa because I don't want you to get burnt. So I've going to put oil in and when it's hot we're going to put our popcorn in and see what happens.
my popcorn is finished popping. So I'm going to put on my oven gloves so that I don't burn my hands on the hot pot and put my popcorn into my bowl. And there we go, my popcorn's done! Mmm, it smells delicious, guys. I wish you could smell this too. Mmm, mmm, let's have a taste and see if it tastes nice. Mmm, doesn't taste too bad, but I think we can put something on it. What do you think? I think we can put something on it to make it taste even yummier. I've got salt, but you don't have to use salt because salt will make your popcorn salty, okay? I feel like having something a little bit sweet today. I don't feel like salty, so I think I'm going to use a little bit of icing sugar. Oh, it's so, so yummy, and all we need to do is take our icing sugar and sprinkle it all over our popcorn. Making popcorn is a great way to learn about our senses. You can hear it popping. You can see it popping. You can smell it when it's done. And you can taste it. But not only that, you can feel it too. Let's see what happens if I squash some popcorn. What do you think is going to happen? It's... <gasps> It breaks. You'll feel it's squishy. So popcorn is a wonderful way to learn about our senses. And you know what the best part is? We get to eat it when it's done. Did you guys enjoy making popcorn with me? I hope so. I loved making popcorn with you guys. It's something I've never made like this before. And I was so excited to try it with you. Maybe you'll get to make it at home as well. But now I want to show you. <gasps> My popcorn's almost finished. It was so yummy that I couldn't stop eating it. And now I only have a little bit left. Maybe I must make some more. Hey, do you know what my favorite part about making popcorn with you was? I used all five of my senses. I used my eyes to watch the popcorn go pop, pop, pop. I used my ears to listen to the sound of the popcorn popping. Then I used my nose to smell the delicious popcorn when it was cooked and luckily I didn't have to smell stinky burnt popcorn because I didn't burn it and then I used my tongue to taste my popcorn and it was delicious and the last sense I got to use was my hands for touching because I can feel the popcorn when I pick it up to eat it and 
also you can see if you can squash it with your fingers do you know what else i can feel i can feel all the sugar on my fingers because i decided to make sweet popcorn maybe if you make salt popcorn salty popcorn you can feel the salt on your hands too i really hope you guys enjoyed learning all about our senses maybe you get to make popcorn yourself and you can listen to it and watch it and smell it and taste it and touch it now i want you to do something for me over the weekend do you think you can I think you can. This is what I want you to do. This weekend, I want you to go outside and play. Have fun. Because you know what? That's the best way for us to learn is to have fun. I really, really hope that you have a wonderful weekend. Go and look at things, go and listen to things, go smell different things and taste different things and keep your hands busy. Touch everything you can to see how it feels. That's the best way you guys can learn and to find out new things. Is that a deal? Are you going to play this weekend and have fun? I hope so. I can't wait to see what we learn about next week. I'm missing you guys very, very much. Thank you for all your photos and all your videos. I really, really love them. Please, can you send more? Please. I love seeing you guys. And I miss you so, so much. I'll see you guys next week. Love you. Bye.